Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoCharts YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you some shocking things in algo trading, right? So now I'm going to show you two different accounts where the same strategy is being traded, but different PNL, right? So this is one of my clients' account in Zeroda. Here the strategy name is S1 930M 120 CPR, right? So if you can see this strategy here, let me just show you these uh, strategies side by side. So if you can see this strategy, this is the zero the account uh, where 10 lots are being traded. Now the strategy had a, a logic where we are selling premiums that are great, greater than 120 at 9.30 am. Okay, so this is the first logic. Here if you see the entry of 45,400 call option that is 174 rupees and the 45,600 put option that is 171.95. So the stop loss was hit at 208 rupees in uh, the first account so in second account if you see the stop loss was at 209 rupees the entry was 172.85 so let's let's see account one and account two okay let's name this account number one account two in account one the entry was 171.95 the entry was 171.95 the, in account 2, the entry was 172.85, 172.85, right? Now, what happened was SL hit in both of the strategies, but in re-entry, if you see the re-entry, account 1 had, uh, account 2 basically had a re-entry at 172.4 rupees, okay? So, it is possible that obviously the candle closed below 171.85, and hence the re-entry occurred at 172.4 rupees in uh, situation number one here in the account two here, right? So here the re-entry occurred. Let me just write with a different color 172.4. Now in this account, why didn't the re-entry occur at 172.4 rupees? Because obviously the entry price was 171.95. And hence the candle did not close below 171.95. Right? Difference is only one point difference here. But it is possible that it could be just a spike where let's say the candle closed below 172.4 and again reverse from here. And hence it did not take an entry entry. But next time when the candle closed below 171.95, the price was 158.45. Here the candle entered again at 158. This re-entry was supposed to be below 172. This re-entry was supposed to be below 172.85. So here the re-entry occurred. Here the re-entry did not occur because the condition was not met during this time. Right, and hence the re-entry did not occur. The next time the condition was met, the price was already 158.45. Right, so here the stop loss got hit because the entry price was much lower. Here the stop loss did not get hit. So for the same strategy in two different accounts, if you see here for seven lots, I have a profit of eight thousand rupees. So approximately, let's let's say that it has a profit of one thousand rupees per lot. One thousand eleven hundred rupees per lot is the strategy. Uh, is the profit for this strategy? Here in the same strategy, I have a ten thousand seven hundred rupees loss in the different account for ten lots. So this is a very not very common thing to be honest in algo trading this is not very common but it may happen uh, let's say once in two months or something like that when let's it, it is only case of end case scenario where let's say two different strategy two different accounts have stop losses let's say one has 171 stop loss and other has 171.5 rupees stop loss and candle just reverses from 171 Right, so it is possible that candle high just makes 171 and then reverses from that. So stop loss will get hit in this, but stop loss will get saved into this. Over a period of time, this definitely gets averaged out in uh, all, all of the accounts. It is not the fault. Let me just clear out. It is not the fault of any kind of execution platform because the order gets filled at different prices even at the same time in different brokers. Right, and the difference is not that much, right? If you see 172.85 and 171.95, the difference is not that much, but here we have the difference, it is only because 
this kind of reversal just from these prices here okay so that is the main cause of such huge differences sometimes in same duplicated accounts across this can occur across any execution platform currently i am using quantify it can also occur in stock so it has also occurred in stock so uh, as well as algo test and other uh, execution platforms sometimes it may be caught in backtest as well or sometimes it may not be caught in backtest as well so that is one of the things that you have to remember that um, backtest may catch this or may not catch this in the last two days we uh, the backtest wasn't able to catch uh, these kind of spikes because of erratic behavior of options in case of bank nifty but hopefully uh, let's see that if uh, the situation in this situation if the backtest catches the uh, difference here right between the entry price and the re-entry price here right right so you have to understand that these are very common things two, du two duplicated accounts will also have uh, let's say two different pnls uh, it can have right it is not compulsory that it will always have but it can have two different pnls at two um in, in this situation right so i hope you have got idea and do let me know in the comment section below if you have any queries related to the differences that arise whenever you're algo trading uh, in the backtest as well as the live results do let me know in the comment section as well